Thank you, friends. I return with another nib review. And I think today we're taking out of our delicious chocolate box a Browse Rose nib. And that will leave us with two nibs from this delectable collection left to review. So let us try the Tachikawa holder. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And it fits. And we are inking in a Denik Inktober sketchbook from 2016. It is not my favorite paper, so please do not take me inking on it as a recommendation. And we're going to be using De La Rowney FW Acrylic Ink in Payne's Gray. Let me grab a little swatchy sample sheet so I can squiggle my pen. Oh, this is a flexy, flexy one. You can see by all the cutouts. And you guys might remember me making a Franken pen out of a Jin Hao X750 using a Browse Rose. That did not work out super well. So I am going to try to be extremely light-handed with this. Mostly because the Browse Rose is incredibly flexy. And I have a really hard time with the flexi nibs. One of the nice things though is that the Rose has a pretty steady ink flow. It will pull, put down ink even if you're writing in the opposite direction. So you can do upstrokes with it very easily. And this is intended to be a calligraphy nib. But I am not a comic artist who allows such things as designations to deter her. in my search for art supplies that will make my life better and my art nicer. I try as many things as I can. And if you can afford to do that, I definitely recommend you give it a shot. Such flexibility is a huge asset. And if you can't, you can always watch my reviews. You should probably watch them anyway. This would probably be a great nib if I wanted to ink something larger than this with bold outlines that still carried line weight. So if you like to work big, this might be a good nib for you. It's a little easier for me to control than the Browse Steno, which I reviewed earlier. I'm trying to go slow. I know with the flexi nibs I go too fast and then I don't like the end result. And this is putting down so much ink that the Denik paper is starting to buckle. So I recommend if you do want to use this or any other calligraphy nib, 
for your comics illustration, you go with a heavier paper, like a Bristol something that can better handle all this water going onto the paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna let this dry because that's a lot of wet and I don't want to smear because I actually really liked this sketch and I thought it was really cute. So I am going to let this dry. I'm going to step away and I'm going to come back. You guys won't notice, but I do think mentioning that I'm stepping away is important in case you're looking for a nib that has a quick drawing line. All right, so that's had a chance to dry. And Believe it or not, I went and washed off my nib because you don't want to allow your ink to dry on your nib, especially acrylic ink, so it can be difficult to remove. Oh, nope, found a wet spot. It's okay, we'll just work elsewhere. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, the jawline of the face is always the hardest part for me. Now, if you put down too heavy of a line weight, it is prone to railroading out. Which can be pretty frustrating. I do wonder if anyone offers a rose with a cage on it that uh, is a question for me to take to paper and ink arts though and then let you guys know the results dipped into that again. Now I could go in and sop up a lot of that ink with a paper towel. My hand's been kind of shaky lately, so it's not really something I would trust myself to do right now. Alright, that is the Browse Rose. It is a very wet nib. It's going to put down a lot of ink on your paper. You want to make sure if you're using this nib, you're using a heavier paper because your paper will buckle if it can't take the ink or it's going to take a really long time to evaporate off. Um, it can be a good inker though, especially for comic artists. Uh, if you have a light hand, you're probably going to get the most use out of it. But if you are heavy handed but can be delicate, as I guess I am today, uh, you can still get some really nice line weights with it. It does take practice and it does take control 
to get used to. It has fins and a breather hole. It is a two-tined pointed nib and you can get them open stock at paperandinkarts.com. If you enjoyed this nib review, let me know in the comments below. This nib is typically used for calligraphy, but I do love experimenting and trying new things and demonstrating those things for you guys in hopes that will inspire you as well. I hope you guys have a great day. And for more information on inking with dip pens and using pointed pens, check out natosoup.blogspot.com. Bye, guys.